Today we are going to install the new DRT Motorsports Can-Am X3 rear bumper tire carrier. This bumper fits the 2017 Plus Can-Am X3 two and four door models. Install time is a little over an hour. Can be installed by yourself with a difficulty level of beginner. Tools needed for this job are a 3 8 ratchet, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18 and 19 mm sockets and wrenches, a T20 Torx bit, a 4 mm Allen wrench, a pry tool or flathead screwdriver, and don't forget your safety glasses. So, gather the tools, and let's install. Let's start, by using a 13 mm socket, and removing this factory bolt, on each side of the vehicle, under the rear fender. Next, grab the driver's side bumper mounting plate and set it up and in place, making sure that this stud runs all the way through the factory hole in the chassis, as you see here. Now, with the plate in place, thread on a supplied 13mm nut and washer, to hold it in place. Then, grab the supplied 19mm long bolt and backing nut, and install it through the plate and factory hole location here, as shown. Thread on the backing nut, finger tight. Next, reinstall the long, factory 13mm bolt, you first took out, and tighten it down. Now, using a 19mm socket and 19mm wrench on the backing nut, tighten down the forward bolt. Next, using a 13mm socket, tighten down the lower mounting nut, shown here. Then, repeat these steps, to the other side of the vehicle. Now, this is the rear bumper section already assembled. The two wings attached to the main section using three, supplied 13mm bolts, and 12mm backing nuts, on each side. Next, grab the bumper and lift it into position, interlocking one side in place, and using a pry tool or screwdriver to move the plate slightly, to interlock the other side of the bumper. Now, Thread in two supplied, 13mm bolts on each side, and tighten them down. This bumper shown is a test fit bumper, and the backing nuts were welded on the wrong side of the plating, so you won't have this install issue, if you are wondering. Next, let's remove the plastic shrouds, that cover the roll cage mounting bolts. Do this by removing the two, T20 Torx bolts holding it in place, and remove the outer shroud. Repeat this on the other side. Now, we will be mounting the carrier hinge brackets, to these factory positions, on the roll cage mount. And, here as well, on the passenger side. Next, grab the carrier hinge bracket mount, and making sure the DRT badge is facing outward, set the bracket in place as shown. Then, install the supplied long, 10mm bolt, through the bottom of the bracket, and all the way through the vehicle fender well. Now, grab the factory roll cage hardware, and reinstall them through the new bracket, finger tight. Note. All the mounting hardware for the carrier hinge brackets, need to remain slightly loose at this time, so that mounting the carrier itself will be much easier. Thread on the factory backing nuts, finger tight, and repeat these steps to the other carrier hinge bracket.
Next, go under and inside the wheel well, and thread on a 13mm backing nut, to secure the lower bolt on each side, as shown here. Next, grab the latch section of the carrier and install the two latch mechanisms. Grab each latch and insert it in place, as shown here. Then, thread in the supplied, 4mm Allen bolt hardware and tighten down. Now, flip the section over, and install the supplied, two billet handle covers, with 4mm Allen bolts and 10mm backing cap nuts, as you see here, and tighten down. Next, grab the finished latch section of the carrier, and set it in place on the main section of the carrier framework, as you see here. Then, begin to install the 8 supplied, 4mm bolts, and 10mm backing nuts, to secure the latch section to the main section. The latch section, attaches to the main section with bolts, in these 8 places. The last one is on the back side, here in the middle. Go through and tighten down all 8 Allen bolts tightly. Now, grab the heim joints, and set the jam nut back 7 16 of an inch, from the ball end of the threads. We found that is a good place to start, to make everything line up when installed. Your vehicle may need some other adjusting, once in place. Thread in both sides, making sure they are vertical when finished. Next, install the ball joint mount for the gas assist shocks, thread them in, and tighten with a 14mm wrench as shown. Next, grab the carrier framework, and set it in place over the trunk or your X3, latching the back end of the carrier, to the bumper catch pins. Then, starting with either side, install the misalignments and set the heim joint in place, as shown here. Now, install the supplied, 19mm bolt, through the mount and heim joint, and thread on the 19mm backing nut, finger tight. Then, repeat these steps on the other side. After each side is in place, tighten down the carrier hinge bolts. Then, tighten down the base 10mm long bolt on each side, as you see here. Now, Tighten down the roll cage mounting hardware on each side, using a 16mm socket, and an 18mm wrench on the backing nut. Then, reinstall the outside shrouds to finish it off. In these clips, the carrier framework hasn't been installed yet. We decided to install the carrier first before tightening the mounts down, as the process was easier without backtracking. The tighten down process is still the same either way. Next, install the lower mount ball joint for the gas assist shocks, on the carrier hinge bracket, and thread on the backing nut, as you see here. Now,
Tighten them down with a 14mm wrench on the ball joint and 13mm on the backing nut. Next, let's install the gas assist shocks, with the body of the shock mounting at the bottom post. Snap the shock on the ball joint, and then do the same to the carrier end of the shock. Snap on the other side, and as you see here, we have already thrown a tire on top, to show you how the carrier, gas assist shocks, and latch all work perfectly to make one convenient system. Note, once the carrier has been properly adjusted, don't forget to tighten the jam nuts and use thread locker, and the use of paint check is advised as under stress, they can move over time. Congrats, that completes your DRT rear bumper, tire carrier system install. This rear bumper and tire carrier system, is the ultimate upgrade for X3 riders who want to carry a spare tire and still retain storage space. This tire carrier and rear bumper was designed as a system to be extremely strong, easily carry a 35 tire, and work with the DRT X3 cargo management rack and cooler. Until we meet on your next DRT install, be safe out there. If you have any questions during your installation, don't hesitate to contact us via phone or email. We are here to help.